live in the building. Why would you have a kid? Simon One Punch Car. Talk to me, man. I'm All right. Here. We're down here in South Philly. Yeah. Sheet Metal Workers Union Hall, Philly Key Sports 2015. And you know what, man? You know, it's always good to come back and stay relevant and refreshed with the current of the sport. Um, the boxing state here in Philadelphia has been real shabby. Um, but, you know, I like to come back and always touch the people. Tonight we have me, myself, Danny Garcia, uh, Willie Gibbs, um, Tevin Farmer, a lot of interest in the upcoming Jason Soto. You know, a lot of interesting fighters that really, you know what I mean, paved the way for these young fighters. So it was good to see, you know, old, you know, colleagues and friends and, and just reminisce, man. It, it's different from me being in the ring because the interesting thing about boxing is not the same anymore. So, yeah, last time we spoke, it's been a while, about 2010. Blue Horizon, legendary Blue Horizon. You know, over 2 million hits on, on the video. Over 2 million hits on the video, the first one. Over a million, you know, on the second one. And hopefully, this will be the third. 3 million, you know, hits. You know, and, and that was the legendary Blue Horizon. And um, I set the record straight, you know, one of the most talked about fighters, still one of the most talked about fighters, still one of the most uh, interesting entrepreneurs in Philadelphia. And now we opening it up, you know what I mean? We got the clothing line, punch line, you know, representing the money team, you know, Mayweather, good friend of mine. We came up simply with amateurs and, you know, talk to me. That's what I do. The talk is about punch line. We did, we introduced that at the Blue Horizon. You right, we did. Uh, 2000, uh, 2000, uh, 2010, we introduced Punchline. Now it's a household name. It was a, uh, a pebble in the pond. Now it's a vision, you know, for millions to watch. You know, so that was my baby. I gave birth to it. Now the people wearing it all over the country. And, um, and we representing, man. And from that, you know, now you see DSG. You know, they have a clothing line. You got so many other interesting entrepreneurs coming up, and they got a, you know, clothing line. Mayweather got a, you know, whole clothing line. I gave birth to that, man. I gave birth to that whole style of being an entrepreneur and making it cool for fighters to have another stream of income. Me, Simon One Punch Card. Nobody else, me. So pay homage when you see me. So, man, tell us where you've been. You've been here, there, and everywhere. So everywhere when you're never there, all over the country. You know what I mean? And listen, and I ain't even have to pack a bag. I, I, you know, I just go. You know, five years removed from the game, and I'm still relevant and refreshed. You know what I mean? You see it. All I'm giving birth to the whole merchandising thing. Now, it's not just me throwing punches. I put boxes in position to make money. You know what I mean? I'm getting calls from Mayweather. I'm getting calls from, you know what I mean, uh, Triple G people. All these people, I'm doing business with b -Hop. You know what I mean? I do business with Danny Garcia. All these people come right back to me. But yet, sometimes we don't even pay homage to the more the more unique people, the, the local people. They don't even pay homage to the people that made this sport what it is. You know what I mean? But I don't ask for anything. I just keep showing and telling. It's demonstration without conversation. You know I mean, I hear the hate, you know, I see it, but I don't hear it. It don't even affect me. So, you know, and, and we are. I come back to Philly to show that I'm still relevant. I'm still refreshed. I still give back. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm doing good in the community. I'm giving back. You know what I mean? I, I, I just gave out what? Uh, 500 book bags, you know what I mean? My own money, a thousand, you know what I mean? Three locations for back to school. We get ready to do the turkey drive, you know what I mean? In the next couple of weeks. And then I'm getting ready to give away $10,000 of my own money, you know what I mean? The toys, the unfortunate kids all around the country. A hundred sneaks, $10,000 worth of toys, a couple bikes. It's all on me. You welcome, you know what I mean? Punchline. Everywhere we never did, guess what? Why would they ever care? I'm right back in the city, the same city, the same sport that gave birth to me. Now I'm turning back and I'm giving back to you. Holla at your boy. They you got it. Simon One Punch Car. You're right, right. You got the camera, keep it rolling. There we go. You ready? Let me know. Do it. Ten summers I done hold, held this whole sport down, made it refreshing. I was the ones that came to the ring with masks, outfits, lavish outfits and everything. I made it cool to be a boxer. When You know what I mean? When most of the fighters came from the slump. I'm still fresh. I'm still dug it. I do what I do. I make it shiny. I give it the excitement. 
Floyd Mayweather, got, I don't even like telling a secret. Since we was amateurs when we came up, they always, when I called him, he wasn't even flashy Floyd. He was pretty boy Floyd. And I was always fly one punch from Philly. You know what I mean? I always David Reed, Terry Cawthon, Raheem, you know what I mean? Isaiah Raheem, Malik Scott, they all tell you the same. It's facts. You know what I mean? I always was fly, always was fresh, never had, never should, sneakers and none of that because we come from a poverty stricken sport. But I always had, I always was fly. So naturally, when I step away from the sport, I'm still the same person. You never stop. Now, with that being said, they have award shows. All these same, these same characters that came in the sport when we, you and I, uh, uh, Philly Keith, first started. I'm the same one that was opening up the door. They was running with cameras and everything. They have award shows, and they don't even honor the people that made it safe for them to to come and judge. Y'all wrote about my fights. Y'all asked for my gloves after the fight. But then at the end of the day, y'all don't even give me a award for, you know what I mean, best entrepreneur after the sport. Y'all don't give me a award for my showmanship when I was in the sport. Y'all don't even pay attention to what I'm doing, you know what I mean, on a cultural level outside of the ring for the community all over the world. It's not just in Philly. But y'all don't give me my respect. Guess what? I take the respect. But I'm talking about all you creeps that's doing all these uh, these award shows. I'm, I'm going to start boycotting it like Jay-Z boycotted the Grammys. I, I'm not coming. Don't ask me to come. Don't ask for my support. But what I will do is... In 2016, I'm gonna start my own war show. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna pay homage to all the little small people that really deserve the shot, and all the big ones that deserve the shot. The ones that came out, the Philly Keeps of the world. They the ones that's really writing about it. Uh, the Wolfies and all that. that went, listen. When y'all never had a hug, most of y'all boxers never had a hug. Y'all never knew what love was, right? I was the one, the same ones picking you up, embracing you, right? Now when y'all get up, y'all don't even want to turn around and pay homage. Y'all don't want to wear punchline. Y'all don't even want to shout out the homie. Y'all calling my phone asking me for secret tips. That was me. That was me. If I get the phone calls from Floyd Mayweather's, what makes you dif different from y'all local dudes that call me? You know what I mean? But y'all don't want to talk about that. Y'all don't say, shout out to my man One Punch. Y'all don't wear the patch. Y'all don't wear punchline. That's cool. I don't want uh, none of that. But what I will say and do is, 2016, right after these new kids come out the Olympics, I'm gonna shut, I'm gonna shut it all down. We gonna shut the whole internet down, and I'm gonna send a whole new crop of punchline. You know what I mean? Kids all over the world. It's not gonna even be about Philly. I tried to bring it home and show love, and it ain't gonna be about Philly. I'm gonna send it all over the world just to show you how powerful I am. I'm gonna make it global. It's it always been about global. I show you all over the world. You see me. But y'all don't even feel me. Y'all act like it's a surprise and like I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a stunt double. No, it's me. It's really me. Let me take off my hat. You can see me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting distributors all around the country and show them how powerful I am. Why for it? It's not a good. But guess what? Why would you ever care? I'm gonna make you care. You are gonna respect me. There it is.